Here's how to get up and running with Bookmap in 3 minutes and become a profitable trader. When you first open Bookmap, make sure you select Trading Mode, and then click OK. Once Bookmap is open, you then want to add an instrument. Click this plus line right here, make sure you choose Bookmap Data, type Futures, and then depending on what futures you're trading, you're going to input that in the current expiration with symbol. So since I mainly trade the S&P futures as well as SPY, I'm going to input the current S&P contract and then click subscribe. Now, when it comes to using Bookmap, there are two main features that I use. The first one being the heat map and then the other one being our volume dots. What the heat map represents is passive buy and sell orders in the market. Going up here towards the color grid, the further to the left the color is, the least amount of orders. The further to the right of the color grid, the more orders there are. Now, if these shaded areas are above price, these are going to be sell orders. And if the shaded area is below price, these are buy orders. By using the color shade, we can very quickly understand how many buy or sell orders are sitting at that level. Now, also, we have the volume dots. These are going to be our aggressive buyers or sellers. The more aggressive buyers or sellers there are, the larger the circle. If it's a green circle, that represents aggressive buy orders. If it's a red circle, that represents aggressive sell orders. Now in order to break through these passive buyers or sellers, we're going to need a larger amount of aggressive buyers or sellers. Now let me show you a profitable trade that I was able to take last week utilizing these tools. Looking at my pre-market plan, you can see that I say SPY 4-hour supply zone from 545.77 to 551.6, but watching the beginning of the zone for the reject. Here was a screenshot before the market opened, and here is my 4-hour supply zone. You can also see the same 4-hour supply zone on the S&P futures. Now zooming into the 5 minute time frame. As price traded into the supply zone, we got a long upper wick with an elevation of volume at a key level representing that sell orders were being filled. But through using Bookmap, we can see that as ES came up into the supply zone, there was very large sell orders in that area, which is validating that the supply zone is valid. Because we had large sell orders with a key level, as well as bearish volume and bearish price action, that confirmed a short entry with a stop loss right above this high. And from there, you can see that the S&P futures sold off for about 30 points before rebounding.